if you are quoting from the Bible, I will ask you, who wrote the Bible? <laughs> the stories of the Bible, where does it come from? Mm. Do you know where Ephesus is? Mm. There is a Paul's letter to the Ephesians. Mm. Who were the Ephesians? Mm. They are texts, Islamic texts. Mm. Up till today, Ephesus is in Istanbul. Wow. You go to Turkey, you will get all the things which have been written in the Bible because why? Saint or Emperor Constantine mm. lived there. And all the jokes that he carried out, the amount of people, the number of people killed by Constantine wow. in the establishment of the Roman Catholicism. They are still there, evidence for you to see. They created the character they call Jesus Christ. Wow. And you know what? The first ship we took our ancestors the way into slavery was named what? Jesus. Christ. Jesus. Why do you name a ship involving itself in such blatant destruction? Jesus. And you want to believe that Jesus? You want to believe that that Jesus died for your sins? Mm. Do you know that Jesus? Mm. Does he know you? <laughs> Maybe he knows me in spirit. He knows you in spirit. <laughs> the truth must never leave you. If you read the Bible, even the Old Testament, find out what was the system of writing. That was hieroglyphics. At the time they were writing the Bible. Who could have interpreted the words of hieroglyphs? They couldn't. Hmm? You have the Lord Gautama Buddha. You mentioned him. Yeah. What's the name? What's the meaning of Buddha? Say respect the snake. So you go into the temples, you see the snake deity. The snakes are all over the place. You go to Benin here. There is a place called Glehwe. Gle is a snake. Where is the house? Hmm? The house of the snake. Snake, house of the snake deity. And opposite the house of all the temple of the snake deity, you have the cathedral, Roman Catholic cathedral, up till today. You take a ride and go down to, they call it Wida. What's the meaning of Wida? We in French means yes. And da, snake. Yes, snake. We da. Mm. Right? Mm. Now, if these people who came and told us that there was somebody who used his rod, he hit the rod on the ground and the rod turned into what? Snake. Mm. If you have a book which tells you that somebody was deceived by a snake, the snake spoke to her. And that was the first sin committed. And they tell you that you came out of sin. <laughs> so somebody who died, they told us he was crucified on the cross mm. among two things. And you believe that one. <laughs> and they told you that he died Friday afternoon. Sunday morning he has resurrected. And they told you that, oh, that was three days. <laughs> that was three days when they buried him he allegedly got up and what did he do he went and organized his people they went for a party after that party he went to heaven to go and sit on the right hand side of God the Father Almighty well, how do you believe that one <laughs> God is a spirit God is not a physical being so nobody could sit on God's right hand side, right? Yeah. So why do you come to believe that one? And Constantine who killed and killed and killed? King Leopold, he told his missionaries, going to the Congo, don't teach the Africans the knowledge of God, because the Africans already knew God. 
and these are the people who are messing us up, and we are believing them. Hmm. Why? So, Robert Nestor Mali tells you, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. We have been mentally enslaved for far too long. And the first enslavement of black people took place in the Nile Valley. Hmm? Really? And, yes. So thou must not kill. Mm. And America will pray to all the God Almighty to help them kill people. And they tell you in God we trust. We God you trust him. The God we say that don't kill, but kills. And God orders his people, go and kill all of them, kill all the animals. Don't spare any. And this God is the one we are supposed to worship. So are we saying that in our ways, in our truth, we don't kill? In spirituality, we don't kill? We don't say that we don't kill. And we won't say that we kill. But it is not part of our laws that thou must not kill. Mm. Anybody who came and said ours was bad, he was bringing us the good one. And he is killing. Mm. And his disciples and apostles are killing in his name. Mm. And he keeps quiet. Mm. The deities of the black race, if they tell you thou must not kill, and you kill, you will suffer. Mm. You will have the punishment. Mm. We were calling, our ancestors were calling that water body, the divine snake river. So they said it's Sedan, the divine snake. When they left, they left with that deity. The snake deity, and they created a home for the snake deity, and they called that home what? The home man. The home man. Then the white man said, no, if this one is making these people still respect their snake deity, hmm. so let us change the name. Then they changed it to Benin. Oh, so initially the whole place was called that home. The home man. Oh. The house of the snake deity. And they changed it to Benin. To Benin. But we have Benin City in Nigeria, Nigeria. already. Yeah. Why do you create another Benin here? So I, I was honestly always confused by that. I, I always wondered why we have Benin State and Benin Country. Like, it never made sense yes, to me. because it is the white man who is uh, creating confusion into our minds. Do you the former capital of Ghana? Of the Gold Coast? Of Gold Coast, yes. Yeah. Why did they change it? Then they brought it to where? Accra. Ark of Ra. Wait, 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 wait. There, there is the Ark of Ra. Wait. When you brought the Ark of Ra, it will take you from the Southern River Valley and drop you into Ark of Ra, Accra. Wait, so the original meaning of Accra is the Ark of Ra. Wow. That I didn't know, guys. I mean. Today, is the day of Amen Ra, the sun God.